good morning dear students today we will start the chapter number 14 oscillations which is contained by the uh, simple harmonic motion damped and force oscillation and resonance now the first uh, definition is periodic motion what is the periodic motion any motion which repeats itself after regular interval of time is called a periodic motion or the harmonic motion okay so it means uh, for example motion of planet around the sun and second one is motion of pendulum of wall clock okay uh, these are the example of the periodic motion and uh, as we know the planet uh, revolves around the sun this is the one type of called a periodic motion now the oscillatory motion uh, here the definition is about the mean position equilibrium position okay here the uh, here uh, i defined uh, i don't define the oscillatory, oscillatory motion definition so uh, the definition is just like that uh, I speak the motion of body is said to be oscillatory or the vibratory motion if it moves back and forth otherwise we can say to and fro about the fixed point after a regular interval of time Please note this definition. This is called the oscillatory definition. Here I write the definition of mean position and equilibrium. Okay. Here it is not a oscillatory motion. Okay. Uh, once again, the motion of body is said to be oscillatory or the vibratory motion if it moves back and forth. Otherwise, it can be said. Uh, to and fro about a fixed point after the regular interval of time okay now the second one second one is uh, this is about the mean position or the equilibrium what is the oscillatory motion so example is given a vibratory or the wire uh, vibration of wire of sitar this is called uh, oscillatory motion oscillation of the mass suspended from the spring so, if we suspend the spring, it will be oscillatory. Okay. Now, the definition is harmonic function. The trigonometric function of constant amplitude and the single frequency is defined as the harmonic function. This is simple. The trigonometric function of the constant amplitude, the amplitude will be constant. That are the main thing. And the single frequency is defined as the harmonic uh, function. This is a uh, y is equal to a sin theta, x is equal to a cos theta. This is normally sine and cosine which are used in harmonic function. Yes, uh, we can say x is equal to a sin theta, y is equal to a cos theta. Okay, doesn't matter. Not what is the call the non-harmonic function a function will be non-harmonic first amplitude is not constant here the constant amplitude so um, uh, it, it's called a harmonic function and here it is non-harmonic amplitude is not constant it is basically formed by the tan cot sec cosec yes here we use uh, here we use tan cot sec cosec function it is a basically non-harmonic function okay now the definition is mean position so here it is given huh? the fixed point about which the body oscillate is called a mean position okay otherwise uh, another definition the point at which the restoring force on the particle is zero and the potential energy is minimum is known as its mean position okay uh, what is the restoring force it is generally occur in the spring if we mass suspended at the spring and spring is keep horizontal if we pull the mass after that uh, some restoring force is uh, produced and it uh, what is the, what is work of restoring force so to uh, keep the initial situation okay of the spring okay so this is the restoring force uh, and the main position it is the point at which the restoring force on the particle is zero and potential energy is minimum very most important huh? for the mcq at the mean position potential will be minimum is known as the mean position now amplitude this is very simple the maximum displacement of the particle from from mean position is defined as the amplitude time period 
okay now for that amplitude i draw the figure the way we start from this point this is called initial point otherwise we can call it as origin okay and it goes a high point and this is called a amplitude okay the maximum dispersion after that it will be decrease okay towards the this is called a mean position this is called mean point mean positions okay and this is called a extreme point this is called extreme point okay please remember now the second definition is uh, the definition we know the time after which the particle keeps on repeating its motion is called a called as time period t is equal to we denote t is equal to 2 pi upon omega t is equal to 1 upon f okay now we go further now the definition is frequency the number of oscillations per second is defined as the frequency it's we know f is equal to 1 upon t omega is equal to 1 upon sorry 2 pi upon t and is equal to 2 pi f its unit is unit is hertz okay now the phase very very most important terms phase what is the phase okay uh, <coughs> as the particle at the time t is equal to 0 it is placed on this point this is i can say it is p point okay now the line joining between the center and this point making angle with x okay and this is called a phi phi means this is the initial angle making with the x direction okay now it displaced on the point p days at the time t is equal to t okay it's making a angle it is omega t okay so now i can say the total displacement from the x it is called a here yeah, the point of p double dash p double dash to p okay it initially sarwat kare so barabar but it make the angle total angle it is omega t plus phi okay so projection on the y it is y is equal to a sin omega t plus phi here we can say x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi the quantity omega t plus phi is known as the phase angle at the instant the quantity omega t plus phi is known as the phase angle at that instant okay now the phase angle at time t is equal to 0 is known as the initial phase or the epoch okay this is called a epoch the phase angle at the time t is equal to 0 this is called initial angle initial phase angle this is called a phi okay and it is uh, another is called epoch they rarely use uh, it uh, if the phase angle of particle executing simple harmonic motion are omega t plus phi 1 omega t plus phi 2 respectively then the phase difference okay uh, there are the two particle is given here the only just one particle there are the two particle is given the first particle phase is omega t plus phi 1 second one is omega t pl uh, plus phi 2 respectively then the phase difference between the delta phi is equal to uh, i want to find out the phase difference okay i want to find out the phase difference so omega t plus phi 2 minus omega t plus phi 1 so this is the phi 2 minus phi 1 okay now uh, there is a some important points which are defined here if the phase of two particle is same it means phase of two particle is same it means this is called a uh, i can say um, uh, just uh, just like there are the two waves there are the yes here i can define here the, there are the two waves whatever which are same phase it means both equally maximum both equally minus maximum okay so this is called a uh, same phase okay so this is the uh, phase differences is 2 and pi for the same phase and the opposite phase opposite phase means here the 
crest stuff crest stuff okay so if it is opposite phase so delta phi is equal to 2n plus 1 pi this is called the opposite phase okay now angular frequency what is the angular frequency it is very simple uh, this is denoted by omega omega is equal to 2 pi upon t and uh, it is defined by 2 pi f okay uh, now we discuss about the simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion has two types this linear ha simple harmonic motion and angle simple harmonic motion okay a linear har a simple harmonic motion this is the simple when the horizontal spring which are connected with the mass m okay if we pull them okay it will be oscillate to the mean positions around the mean positions this is called a linear simple harmonic motion and what is the angle simple harmonic motion so this is uh here the uh, some uh, bob it is uh, suspended at the rod of uh, and the rod of okay so the uh, which are oscillate okay which are oscillate to its mean positions okay this is called a angle simple harmonic motion so, yes now we go further now we discuss about the difference between the linear comparison one type of comparison this is called a linear shm and we discuss about the angular shm okay so uh, first of all we, uh, in previous we discuss about the linear simple harmonic motion okay the restoring force acting on the particle should always be proportional to the displacement of the particle and directed towards the equilibrium positions so uh, suppose ki koi spring okay if i pull them the some restoring force it is opposite to the external force okay so we can say here f proportional to minus y okay this is f proportional to minus y and another says uh, a proportional to also minus y okay and here for the angular simple harmonic motion okay so this is just like oscillate the tau proportional this is minus theta yet a proportional to y so it is called a linear simple harmonic uh, motion and here this is the uh, angularly motion tau proportional to minus theta so tau is equal to minus c into so to say theta barabar well c is equal to restoring torque constant c is equal to called restoring or constant okay and tau is equal to yes in chapter number 7 this is called i alpha so this is minus c upon theta alpha is equal to minus c upon i into theta okay and here we can say the f is equal to comparison che to f is equal to minus kx okay for the spring this is called a restoring force okay f is equal to minus kx f is equal to minus kx so f is equal to we can write ma is equal to minus kx a is equal to minus kx upon so the say m okay so uh, the differential equation is very very simple what is the differential equation so, d2x by dt square minus k upon sorry plus k upon m into x is equal to 0 this is called a differential equation okay and remember this uh, this is 
in term of omega d to x by dt square plus omega square into x is equal to 0 okay compare with this this is the real uh, lin uh, the second differential equation of linear simple harmonic motion remember it d to x by dt square is equal to a okay this is the second differential equation of displacement and it gives us a plus omega square into x is equal to 0 okay and here d2 theta by dt square okay alpha is equal to angular acceleration this is called a d2 theta by dt square is equal to minus c upon i into theta is equal to 0 okay and here d2 theta compare with this equation d2 theta by dt square plus omega square into theta is equal to 0 so here omega is equal to under root k upon m compare with this equation omega uh, d2 x by dt square x x equals so omega square is equal to very most important terms omega is equal to under root k upon m and here for the angular shm omega is equal to under root c upon i right? omega is equal to what under root c upon i c is equal to torsional restoring torsional constant okay. now from that omega is equal to what 2 pi upon t under root k upon m so t is equal to 2 pi under root m upon k and here 2 pi upon t is equal to under root c upon i so t is equal to under root i upon c so abhani ne apne yad rakshu parabhani t is equal to so abhaj formula apne agar kaam aavana chhe mcq maate khubaj kaam aavashe parabhani ke ne dhyan dakhi ne kaam kar jo mitro now frequency so f is equal to 1 upon t so here 1 upon 2 pi and inversely karna ko under root k upon m here f is equal to 1 upon 2 pi under root c upon i, I is equal to moment of inertia okay yes so this is the comparison uh, remember this equation okay and yes chilabar box ke rache please remember okay yes okay now uh okay now we calculation of shm equation what is the shm equation very simple x is equal to a sin omega t plus phi okay shm is equal to shm equ uh, equation is y or x we can say okay uh, suppose k i can say it is x because displacement in the y direction okay so here y is equal to a sin a plus b Whatever. Uh, omega t is a, a phi is equal to b so calculating work of the mathematics sin a plus b this is sin b cos a plus cos b sin a so y is equal to a uh, a sin a plus b so this is y is equal to a uh, okay okay apne arde arrange kariye sin b b is equal to phi cos a a is equal to omega t plus cos phi sin omega t okay so this is a cos uh, sorry a sin phi cos omega t plus a cos phi sin omega t okay so this is very simple and it is a calculating of the 
SHM equation. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, next time we will go with the illustration and beginner box one. Okay. Thank you very much. Next time, Okay. Thank you very much.